Hey folks, it is Super Drew here. I hope everybody's having a great day. And upon special request, Nichols. Yeah, I know it's been a while since I've done Nichols. I had, uh, a, you know, a couple bad hunts and I just got kind of discouraged. But I got uh, $20 at the bank, so we'll go, th we'll go through these and see what we can find. Okay, stand by. Boy, these are tight. There we go. Hey folks, I'm back already. I uh, didn't find a whole lot. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the 1960s. Got a 61D. You know, you know I'm not going to read them all off to you. You can see what I've got. I, I did find lots of the 64s. And if I come back over here, I did not find any of the 66s, but I did find a 65 for Sandy's Passions. 69S, 70S, got two of those. Uh, let's see, I got a 76P, which is, you know, part of my, part of the coins I collect. 76D, got one of those. Didn't do so well on the 82 or 83s. I did find... One each of the 83s, but the back of the backs are wiped. Yeah, the reverses are wiped, so they're, I'll toss those back. And you can see I got a lot of the 80s here. You know, like I said, I didn't really find anything too remarkable. If we come over here, you can see I've got pretty much everything from the 90s. Into the 2000s. And, uh, let's see, I got some of the 2004 and 2005 commemoratives. The only one that I was waiting for was this 2005 D Bison. I actually found that in the last roll. <laughs> Isn't that always the way? Okay, so if we come over here, let me slide my chair over. We did not find any of the 2009s, but do we find that surprising? No, we don't. <laughs> I have terrible luck on those. But uh, I found a ton of the uh, 2012P. I found a bunch of those. And just like with that uh, 2005D Bison, I did not find that 2012D until the last roll. So that was that, that always surprised I like that. It surprises me when that happens. Okay, so here we have the 13s, and I do have a nice stack of 14 Ps. Okay, now for the interesting coins. Uh, I probably should have put these in order ahead of time, but I didn't. So let's just take them one at a time. I've got a 1957. Alright, what do we have here? Ah, this is a 1982. And if I flip it over... get in here it does have steps let me see if I can get it in the light Hold on. Uh, I'm having trouble getting it there we go now you can see them Obviously not full steps, but it does have one solid line on the top. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let me go ahead and reset the focus here, or the zoom rather. Okay, this one I pulled because it has a wicked offset. See the line right there? The end is practically cutting off Liberty and the date. And on the other side, it's really fat. So I thought I'd pull that just to show you guys. And then the last coin is the oldest one in the bunch. 1947. It's not in bad shape either. Let me turn it around so you can see it better. There we go. Pretty good shape. Let's take a look at the reverse. Not bad. You know, it's pretty wiped, but it's a 1947, so we should expect that. Awesome. 
Okay, so I guess that's it. All I found worth uh, pulling were these four coins. I hope to do better next time. Okay, folks, this is Super Drew. I hope everybody has a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye now.